We're here with Don McCabe, the president of the Ontario Federation of Agriculture at the second annual Bioproducts Cluster Workshop. Don, this was a pretty busy session today. Is this a good, are you seeing progress in the in the group that moving forward with the, with the harvesting of corn stover? Definitively, we're seeing uh, momentum here because we just had the recent announcement of Comet Bio Refinery, which is going to fill in a hole that we had of the uh, actual company that can use technology to pull that sugar out of corn stover. And then that sugar is now available for the whole range of renewable chemicals to fuels to everything else in between. Don, the, to, to build uh, the, this project to, to, for cellulosic sugar from corn stover, you had to really build a value chain. Do you think that's coming together now? It's coming together, and I think there is the last pieces of that value chain are now to get a cellulosic sugar cooperative uh, for, produ- for producers by producers to uh, complete its organization and be prepared now for harvest opportunities into the future that will coincide with the completion of the Comet build because the uh, plant will require feedstock. And the reality is um, the experiments are done, the demonstrations are completed, we illustrated we can do this, now we just got to do it on scale. You think initially, I mean, farmers are they're, they're tentative. They want to know things are going to come together. There's a reason for doing things. Do you think that the, the, the corn farmers generally are in southwestern Ontario are starting to see the benefits of what the program is all about? Uh, I, there's always going to be a need for continued education and communication to get the opportunities out there. And part of the reality is, as a corn farmer, that we've got higher and higher yields to, of uh, corn now coming in our fields, which leaves us with more and more stocks. So here's an avenue now to turn some of those ex- extra stocks, because we will leave what's necessary to ensure sustainability of that soil. But the extras now will become a revenue source, and that means that you will not have extra tillage to be done. It, it will help remove phosphorus from going to Lake Erie, uh, in the amounts that might come from that decomposing stuff. So the reality is here, this is a very uh, roundabout, uh, excellent uh, step forward for farmers to look at for their farm and their fields, whether or not the it, uh, whether it's an opportunity for them. Comets announced that it's, it wants to have its plant going in Sarnia or, or set up in Sarnia in 2018. That's a pretty aggressive timetable, but they'll need a lot of stover. Do you think you're ready to deliver that? Well, uh, I think we could uh, maybe look at some uh, smaller activities, just again, draw awareness, get people comfortable, make sure the machinery is uh, scale is appropriate, and then, yeah, 2017, we can get a full harvest in. And that includes looking at wheat straw if necessary to feed uh, Comet's ne- uh, uh, needs. So, uh, and then 2018, that gives us another shot. So we've got two harvest seasons in here and uh, they can't all be bad. So overall, with the the promise of a good harvest again this year, or hope for a good harvest again this year with an early start this spring, is, is that uh, a good thing for corn stover as well? Uh, definitively, if we get an early start and the weather behaves that we don't end up with a late frost, all those things point to a very bountiful corn crop. Uh, but research has been invested in this area and that's why we're now consistently over 150 bushel acre corn yield in the province as a whole. Last year it was one over the 170 mark and within the southwest area where this uh, plant will go, uh, we're consistently over the 170 mark and touching 250 and higher. So bottom line, this is an opportunity.